Hi guys, and what we're going to do today is doing some speed tracing. And what we're going to do is, if we look at these two images in front of you, you can see my sketch on the right and the image on the left. And to get this image in, it took actual few minutes to get the outline in, not even that. And I'll show you how to do that, and it's all to do with using the Bezier curve tool and actually outlining the image quickly and not worrying about those curves and actually doing the final deal to detail later with a little technique that I'll show you to make your life a lot a, a little bit easier sorry about the start there um, so let's get into it the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swap to this page um, a new Inkscape file and I've already got the uh, sketching memory so I've just copied it so I've just used a control C and copy the sketch and it's just a scan so I stick this in here by pressing control V here we go and what we're going to do is trace this little guy here so I zoom in on, on him get him into position before we start speed sketching him so I see the opacity is up here so I'm going to drop this down to get this menu here uh, sorry, this uh, box here, all you have to do is go to Objects, Objects, and this will pull up this box. Okay, I normally start from fresh without any of these showing, but that's shown on the screen now. So let's get started. So all you need is go to the Draw Bezier Curves and Straight Lines tool. Uh, make sure this is selected, selected to None, and your Create Regular Bezier Path tool is selected. And also before we start, go to File, Document Properties, and just go over to our grids. Sorry, our, our um, I'll go this right in a minute. Our snap and snap to grids, bring this right down. I step up only one closer than so one, and bring this down, and also bring this one down. So, effectively, we've, we've kind of cancelled out the snapping, it will snap when. We get to one pixel or or, or lower. <laughs> Sorry, not one, not lower. So yeah, when we get to one pixel. So that's all set up now. So let me show you how easy it is. Okay, so we're gonna start from the top, and I'm just gonna go click and let go. And so we've got a better at all. And I'm just gonna follow this line, not worrying about the curves at all. So I'm literally straightening straightening off these uh, the curves each time cutting the corners as though I was a Formula 1 driver around the track as fast as I can there we go, just get in here so you'll see in a minute what it will look like it will look a complete mess but I'll show you a little technique to get everything back back into the line um, this is a very good technique if you've got a complex image and you just want to get it in there because if you start trying to actually follow these lines exactly, you're going to be there forever. Um, so let me just keep on going. So I'm just moving, click, release, moving, click, release on all these curves. Just going around them. See, I may not do everything on here because I don't want this video to last all that long. Otherwise, you'll be bored. <sighs> here we go. So, just finishing off this tentacle that's coming right the way around here. Cutting the corners, cutting the corners, getting that shape in as quickly as I possibly can. Go coming up this bit here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to miss out this tentacle here and go all the way up to this point here. So there we go. So that looks absolutely terrible at the moment. You can see we've got the main outline in there, but watch, we'll go over to our edit pass by no tool. So all our 
nodes are selected in here. Sorry, they're not selected in here at the moment. So if I go up to the top and I go edit, select all, all our nodes are selected now. Now, if we just hit the smooth, look what it's done. We've actually smoothed this image right out. We've got our tentacles in and now we can do some finer adjustments on here just by moving our oops our um either our skeleton which is shown by the uh, red line or our um the nodes themselves which are shown by these little cusps around here so what we can do is get rid of rid of the image now um i'm gonna actually go to the fill and stroke which can actually be accessed from the object fill and stroke menu here and I'm going to give it a stroke and I'm going to close down the objects a minute and close that one down I'm going to give it a stroke of black and I'm going to just bring the stroke outline up so we can see what we're doing and I'm going to click off to see what was what exactly we got. As you can see, it's still looking a bit rough and ready, but it's a lot better than what we had before. And how quickly did I get this in here? So we can now double click and actually move these nodes about to actually get them in place. And remember, we can move move the nodes. And we can actually move the uh, skeleton itself to actually adjust these. So all because I use the select um, the select all all tool in the nose and just hit the makes make selecting nose auto smooth smooths the whole lot, and we're good to go for a finer detail. Okay, so there's a quick tip for you to get those into place. Uh, to get your sketch into place quickly and ready for the next stage of actually finer detail. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye now.